Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this short training video on FICO Express Insight. This is Majid Bazrafshan, and I'm a lead consultant of FICO Express Optimization. During last two videos, we talked about Express Insight, and we also reviewed the steps that you would need to take in order to go from your Moselle model to an Express Insight app. In this video, we will be talking about preparing your Moselle file. Preparing your Moselle file is the second out of five steps that we talked about during previous video. As you know, Moselle files are all inside the source folder of the inside application. And there are four subtasks that we need to make sure that we do in order to make our Moselle models compatible with inside. The first is using MM Insight package. The second is adding inside get mode structure. And the third is the inside populate. And finally, replacing minimize and maximize with insight. Minimize and insight maximize. So after reviewing this, it would be fair to look at our use case Moselle model for this training. The use case model that I've considered for this training series is a customer fulfillment optimization in which we are supposed to assign a set of customers that have a set of orders to a set of warehouses with, an, with a known capacity and a known mailing cost. The goal is to minimize the total transportation cost. In our Moselle 101 short video training series, you learn about packages such as MM Sheet, and MM Express in order for us to make the Moselle model compatible with Express Insight. The first thing to do is adding the MM Insight package. Line 9 shows the command that you would need. In our Moselle 101 video training series, we also learn about the structure of a Moselle file, that we have a set of parameters, we have a set of procedures or subroutines that we might have a set of operations within each and we have declaration blocks of either input, the decision variable, or the result. And finally, we have to call the procedures or subroutines that we have defined, which in this case, I call data input, I perform optimization, and retrieve solution after running my instance. So the next step will be changing the way we are calling data input and running our Moselle file. And that is nothing but the second step that I have described previously, which is I need to add a case inside get mode that has the following. So I would need to bring this data input into inside mode none and also inside mode load. So what does that mean? This means if we are running from inside, if you are loading data, then it would need to come and read data input from input file and stop after. Once you have loaded the scenario, have made your adjustments, and uh, made some changes to your data on the user interface, then Ron would come and populate the model with the input data from Express Insight Scenario, and then jump to the next step, which is perform optimization. Also, we have Insight Mode None, which is for cases such as now that we are working with a workbench. We want to run our model from here. And finally, the last step will be changing minimize to inside minimize, which I've done that already. Now, one other thing that I would like to talk about is the names of arrays and sets and decision variables and result arrays. In order for us to avoid showing the code names in our user interface, we need to label them. We need to define the actual names that we would like to be shown in user interface. And for that, we have a set of commands. For example, at the first of the declaration block of input data, we need to add this command, which would tell inside that these arrays and these sets are all input data. And for example, instead of showing the actual code name of this array, we want to use customer ID. So you would define an alias for this array. And if we show this array in a table, Express Insight will automatically change the name of the array to customer ID. And now for a set of sets, for example, order segment, 
we don't want to show the actual order number, but rather order name. So in that scenario, we would transform and label each order number by its order name, as shown in line 26. Same applies for DPOT. So these are the set of things that you need to modify and add to your Moselle model to make it compatible with Express Insight. So to summarize, adding the package, adding the block of how you call your procedures or subroutine, changing minimize and maximize, and um, changing the name of the arrays. Thanks for joining me in this short video. In the next video, we will be talking about XML companion file.